Well, hello. It's been a little while, hasn't it? And um, so this is 2020. It's the future. And uh, we've all got uh, rocket packs and Tesla cars. And uh, there's peace and happiness and joy everywhere. No war or anything. It's really great. Loving it so far. Uh, so this is something I haven't done before. Welcome to my bedroom, by the way. These are my nice new sheets that I got off my sister for Christmas. Very Art Deco, don't you think? And I'm using my new lights as well because um, this is going to sound really silly. The lights in my bedroom don't actually work. Um, you won't be able to see, but there's like a candelabra thing. And uh, the electrics in my house are a bit rubbish. And so um, I try and put light bulbs in there and they'll just pop because it takes six of them and they'll just go pop 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 so I don't bother I haven't bothered with a proper light in my room for maybe about five years now so I use my sad lamp over there and now my two lamps so I'm gonna do a get ready with me because I'm such a makeup guru that um, I'm sure you'll all appreciate that I have three makeup bags my 10p logs town one that I got from the car boot sale has my standard everyday stuff um, this is my um, do I use it or don't stuff, so this is the non-essentials, it's a bit grubby, and then this is my uh, bag of makeup brushes, which is a Mean Girls one, because I love Mean Girls, it's one of my all-time favourite films. So, I'm going to do my makeup. I also don't have a proper uh, like place to do my makeup or anything, you see all these beauty, beauty vloggers and stuff and they have a nice area in which to do my make their makeup and I just have a broken hand mirror because I'm well classy like that okay so this is going to be fun this will be interesting won't it and um, I'll try and tell you what I've been up to and stuff but to be honest it'll probably just be me shoving stuff on my face really badly and going um a lot forgetting to talk to you and then occasionally maybe remembering and telling you something. So, first product I'm using is Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it and maybe she'll die with it. Face Studio Prime. An anti-redness primer because I do get quite red in the skin. So, especially on my cheeks. Um, because I've got broken veins and stuff. And... Oh, that's so sexy. Don't I look so good? I'm just going to go out like this. Yeah, I do get redness in my skin, so I use a primer with green in it. And I'm just going to go like this. So this is going to be fascinating for you guys, because, like I said, I will forget to talk to you while I'm doing this. And I'll also pull some really bizarre funny faces as well. But I thought I'd try one of these anyway, just because they seem like fun sometimes. So, how was your Christmas and New Year's? Me and Carla were joking, quiet. Which, to some people, is great. To me, Christmas and New Year is like a hard time of year because it's right in the depths of the darkness and I feel the darkness, I really do. I hate winter time, I am not a winter loving person. I'm a summer baby and I like vitamin D and sunshine and late light nights and things like that and I hate winter because all I feel is darkness and the depression really gets to me um, so I would say that I have survived this Christmas and New Year and much better than other Christmas and New Year's as in I haven't felt so bad the thing that showed that so much is that um, I didn't go out New Year's Eve and that was a choice um, I didn't fancy it, I had a bit of a headache for a few days, so I'll be honest, I was a little bit ill as well. Um, but, 
I had some vague plans about going out with a few people and stuff. Um, and in the end I just texted them, like a couple of bunches of people, and just went, you know what, I'm not really up for it. And I was fine with that. And normally I'd be a bit, like, upset that I wasn't going out because I'd feel like, no, I've got to do something because social media says that you have to go out and have fun constantly. And I didn't feel that this year. So that's good. That's a step forward, I think. Hooray. And Christmas was really nice because my brother came down and I haven't seen my brother in, like, three years. That's the second time in, like, eight years I've seen him. Uh, and it was cool because obviously don't get to see him a lot. He's uh, seven years older than me and uh, he's going through some stuff in his life, some changes and things and he's got all fantastic new plans and I'm really pleased to say that I'm going to be part of those plans which is quite nice. So we chatted a lot and you know things that we're going to do in business together and hopefully it all works out. So that's going to be fun. Can't tell you too much right now. Um, just in case it all goes tits up, but it won't. It's going to be cool. Okay, so let this, the primer kind of soak in a little bit. Slightly less red. I don't know, it could be a placebo thing. Uh, so next thing I'm going to use is Revolution Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer Full Coverage. Um, and this is in shade C3. Yeah, because uh, after you see me putting on all this makeup, you definitely want to go out and buy it all. So again, I show on the cheeks. I'm no perfectionist when it comes to makeup at all. You won't see any um, fancy things from me, I'm afraid. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I shouldn't do that, should I? Uh, so it goes on just all the bits. I have a problem with my nose and my forehead in the, the T-zone. Because I have quite oily skin, makeup doesn't tend to stay very well on my face. So I try not to use too many layers of things. Because it ends up just sliding off anyway or looking really cakey. And I don't like that look very much. But this is a cheap ass, not even a beauty blender or anything. It's a sponge from Poundland and there's like eight of them for a pound and that'll freaking well do me, you know. So yeah, Christmas Day, um, well Christmas Eve we cooked um, a proper, you know, Christmas dinner and our plan was to have that on Christmas Eve and then order in an Indian for Christmas Day. But we finished our Christmas Eve meal and it looked like we hadn't even touched it. So, um, we thought solid it will just have the same the next day so we did more roasties and more veg the next day and that was us landed and we watched some films and chatted a lot more went through a couple of bottles oh my god we drank a whole bottle of amarula amarula is so nice uh, and some gin and they were all nice gifts from people i had some is it raspberry and rose hip gin from my mate alana uh, thank you, Alana. And um, what else did we have? Yeah, some Amarula from my sister. And some more gin from my mate Catherine. And that was very nice. Ugh. God, and this is the point where I start looking really pale. And go, what am I doing? I look really pale. I look like a ghost. But I think pale kind of suits me. I think. Although I did have quite a nice tan over the summer when I went to Croatia. That was cool. Oh, Croatia was amazing. I highly recommend anyone go. Um, I'm obviously not a fan of Game of Thrones. So when people were pointing out and going like, Oh look, that's King's Landing. And they're going, Okay. Um, but it was an absolutely beautiful place. And my absolute favourite, favourite moment was on the second day when it was a nice dry warm sunny day we went down to the beach we found this lovely beach where you could hire out a bed like on the side of the beach and have cocktails brought to you and ran into the sea in my swimming costume and um, the sea was so nice and warm and it felt like genuinely just a moment of relaxation and freedom that I haven't felt for the longest time 
it was so nice it was just like everything had been left at home and here we are just completely like in another world and it was so nice and there's very few places that I've been on holiday that I would genuinely go like yeah I'm going back there other than Paris and Edinburgh because I love those places but Croatia I would definitely go back to I think it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous place so that was one of my definite highlights for net for last year and a plan to go away again uh, speaking of holidays I've got Valencia booked Valencia for March well I say we've got it booked we've got flights booked we haven't got anywhere to stay yet we'll look on the Airbnb soon to get somewhere to stay I like Airbnb places yeah they'll do Okay. Yeah, so looking forward to that and looking forward to saving up to go to Japan hopefully over the summer because my brother's moving out there. So I'm going to go and meet him and hopefully my mate Yabral as well who's going over for the summer. He's going over for the Olympics and is staying with a friend of his and I'm hoping that we can kind of time it right so that we can both meet up. I think that would be really really good fun to again meet up in another country last time we met up was in Amsterdam but you may have seen the videos and I've since made them private because I realized that it wasn't in the best um, well I was in a fantastic state of mind actually but maybe not for reasons that you should make public perhaps okay so I am not one for contouring even though I probably should so, next thing I'm going to do, because I'm only going out today to do posts and I'm going to do a bit of sourcing. So next thing I do is L'Oreal True Match Powder. You can see that I use this quite a lot. And that's not my usual brush, is it? What do I use it for? Oh, it doesn't matter now, does it? So I'm just going to like stipple this on, push it into the skin. <laughs> I probably should get some like contouring stuff because you know I could do with a bit of makeup help but hey I'm only doing it for you guys and for the people of Potalba just so they don't get so scared of seeing me so what other cool stuff happened last year I bought myself some really nice things last year lots of Vivian Westwood I got some Vivian Westwood gloves which were rather expensive, but fuck it. And Vivian Westwood t-shirt and three pairs of Vivian Westwood Vans trainers because I love them. I initially bought three pairs thinking I will sell two pairs of them for profit which will pay for the third pair that I'll keep. And of course I ended up keeping all three of them. But again, why not? Um, business wise? was really good. Um, I've just finished doing my up to December accounts. My last year's accounts, as in the one I haven't put yet in yet, which has got to be in like a few days, is with my accountant. So he's doing that one and then I thought I'd get up to date on all of my other ones. And I'm doing really well in business. I think I'm averaging about £1,600 a month pure profit. Of course, I haven't saved any of that. I'm not like that. That would be ridiculous. Why would I possibly save money? That's crazy. Although it is on my New Year's resolutions that I start doing that now. Because obviously tax return is going to be crazy on that. But hey-ho, we'll worry about that when it comes to it. Um, I don't have anything for my eyes. Oh, no, yes, I do. Ah. Uh, this is my favourite eyeshadow when it got broken in Croatia. But this is Urban Decay and this is Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. And it's um oh, it's all broken and it's such a shame. I love that so much. Hmm. There we go, done. <laughs> um yeah, it's like a nice kind of gold shimmery colour. Which is nice for a daytime. It's nice for a daytime look. God, I'm such an arse. 
So I'm not going to use a lot of that. Just something, just like a little base coat, which you probably can't see anyway. Caroline Matthews would like this colour. I think it's uh, Urban Decay's most popular one because it's one that kind of suits a lot of people. What else happened last year? Oh yes, there was lots of lovely meetups with people. As you've probably seen, uh, um, those of you who are from the reselling community, we all met up and that was lovely. Met up a few times. I have to say, Bristol was probably my most favourite because I can't actually remember much of Hitchin because I... I was tired and emotional and I fell asleep for some of it. So that was nice. But it's always great to see people and it's always great to see like Nick and Andrew especially because they're so bloody lovely. Oh, which reminds me I need to go and buy something today. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of colour in my cheeks. So the irony is I take the colour out of my cheeks and then I put some colour back on. Women. So I'm going to use a dried old pot of Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Plum Prune Fantastique <laughs> Oh, I also had my 40th birthday this year which I didn't do very much for and partially because again I didn't feel like it I didn't feel like I needed to actually no, I say I didn't do much we did, I did a zip line and we went out and we went out for food and um, went out and got drunk and stuff. Standard. Um, yeah, no, it was good. It was a good thought, yeah. I suppose. It would have been nice. It's times like that where I do get a little bit sad and think, oh, wouldn't it be nice to actually have someone special in your life that um, you can go on a little adventure with? And although you go on adventures with friends, and that's absolutely lovely, and it is lovely, it sometimes would be nice to, you know, have someone else treat you to things. Right, eyeliner time. The amount of times my eyeliner has dried up in my bag and I've not used it, and it's gutted. So, I've got two new ones, and I haven't really used them before. So I've got Maybelline New York Tattoo Liner, because you can see that. And who's this one? This is Rimmel Wonder Ink. And I think the Wonder Ink is quite a finer one. And then this one is more of a, definitely more liquid. It's got an annoying hair hanging out the end. Pull that out. Right, so we're gonna, oh God. Now that lighting looks like I've got really bad bags under my eyes. I don't really. Okay, so let's have a go with this. <clears throat> right. Where do I want it to end? No. Might try the other one. Seems a bit too black and glossy for a daytime look. Oh, that's my doll's house as well, by the way, if you haven't seen that before. Go back a few months and you can see the story on that. Right. So, this is where I'll pull a weird face, by the way. And excuse me if I don't talk while I do it. Up to there, okay. How's that for an outline? Is that alright? We'll go with that. Now, it's the scene if I can do the same outline on the other side. Hmm. I think so. Hmm. What do you think? Maybe. Alright, we'll fill it in and we'll find out, I suppose. God, I've got a stupid face when I do this. Oh, so, some of you may have seen as well, or may have uh, heard of the, my best sale of the year. And I'll tell you about that in a second when I finish this. 
It's a very important moment. I'm gonna fuck that up. <sighs> hmm, it'll do. Again, I'm not a perfectionist. I am normally pretty good at doing my eyeliner. I think it's just because I'm concentrating also on you guys watching. This is thrilling for you guys, isn't it? Okay, that's not so bad. I can live with that. Oh, what I also do as well, when I remember, is that I will just do from the underneath just the base of the eyelashes. Like so. And then normally I end up painting a little bit of my eye black as well. Because again, I'm really good at doing makeup. So yeah, my best sale of the year, or at least most profitable anyway, uh, was a My Little Pony. Which, when I bought it, I had absolutely no idea that it might be worth anything. But I saw... There were six of them in a charity shop, and I think they were priced at £2 each initially. And I turned to the guy and I was like, is it £2 each? Because the stickers were like all over the place. I was like, is it £2 each? Or, you know, like, what's the deal on them? Because the other toys, they were all like, two for one ninety nine and stuff. I was like, oh, so how much? And he goes, oh, three quid, you can have the lot. It's like, okay, so 50 pence each for a pony. And I recognise a couple of them because I had them when I was a kid as well. It was bow tie, which is blue and with pink bows on it. And then another one that I vaguely remember as well. And I knew the people out there collected them and I thought, well, for 50 pence each, there's going to be someone out there that wants them, even, even if they just want to mod them, like modify them, they turn them into like borgs and things, which is quite cool. So I'm using a coal eyeliner or a no, it's not cool. A crayon eyeliner. And this is Lollipops Paris. This came in a glossy box like years ago. And and it's, it's just good. I don't know why. So I do the waterline. And then I do a little bit below the waterline as well. And I just smudge that in a bit. Yeah, I'll do. So yeah, I bought for 50 pence and then I messaged a few people. So Sam reselling Polly and Sally Kelly messaged me as well. And uh, they gave me some fantastic advice on where to look for things and where to get some information. So I did a bit of Googling and research. And I found that one of these ponies uh, was actually quite a rare one. It's, um, okay, it's a UK variant of Princess Sapphire Royal Blue, I think is her name her name um, and one I previously sold for £160 or something like that and I thought ooh well that's that's very good so I cleaned all the ponies up shoved them in a thing I forgot to do a video about it because cleaning up a rare pony would have been a brilliant YouTube video but never mind so anyway I did that and then um, cleaned them all up redid her hair took some nice pictures Put it on auction, started at £180 thinking I was being a bit cheeky and by the end of the auction it went up to £313. So, well chuffed with that. Okay, for... what's it called? Mascara. I'm using... this is the Kate Moss Rimmel Eye Rock Sapphire, so this is slightly blue to go with the blue hair so that it makes my blue hair look natural. 
I did have my eyelashes um, tinted and what do they do it when they like perm it and it goes up. My eyes, eyelashes are really short. Like my hair just doesn't grow. Oh, that's looking all sticky for some reason. Like my bottom lashes are quite long, but my top lashes just don't tend to grow. Never mind. And of course I poke myself in the eye with a mascara wand. Standard. So yeah, that was super happy. And really looking forward to getting this year done. Well, not this year done. This year started with all the business plans which I'm not going to tell you about right now because I'm pretty much finished with my makeup. Other than my lips. I can't talk while I'm doing my lips. So you're just going to have to bear with me a second. But yeah, really excited to get started on plans this year. It means second eBay uh, business account, like your second store, and lots more of accounting to see to do, and lots of prep and things, and organisation. But it'll hopefully be good, and hopefully I'll be able to show you some at some point. Okay, so the last product I'm going to use, again, is Maybelline New York Superstay 24 Hour Lip Colour. I am terrible at doing my lips. Awful. I had my lips done this year as well, well my top lip, because they're really thin lips. I'm really not very good at doing it. <laughs> Oopsie. I never normally wear lipstick. I was quite scared of wearing lipstick for a long time and I think it's because I did have thin lips and it just looked silly. And now they're slightly bigger. It doesn't look so bad. And also, because just do it as well, I can wear any kind of clothing like weird clothing and feel perfectly normal and natural in them whereas if I wear normal clothes I feel weird um, but I can quite happily like um, wear say like weird eyeshadows and stuff and that's okay but for some reason like different colour lips I always had a problem with bizarre hear the Hermes man downstairs. I mean like we haven't invited him in, he doesn't live here or anything, he's picking something up. Right, I think that's okay. Gotta wait for it to dry a little bit and then you put the other end on. Okay, and I think we're done. So I'm going to put Talbot today to go sourcing for stock and do my post and things. So I'm going to take you along with me. That was a half hour of me doing my makeup. I might just speed it up and not actually talk to you through it. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Bye bye. Hey. No, don't, don't tip. Oh, for God's sake. You can tell I haven't vlogged for a while. Okay, anyway. So, I'm in my garage and I'm going to pick some orders. Uh, I'm only picking two. That's not because I've had a rubbish sales day yesterday. That's because I did most of my packing yesterday and this is just a couple that have paid overnight. So, pink dress and box six. Pink vintage dress with box. Pink, 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 where are you? Pink. Oh, I've got to look on the side, see if I can see something pink. That one. Yes, it is. A vintage pink dress with faults. 
sold for a fiver. Um, I think it was part of a job lot. The job lot doesn't owe me anything. I mean, profit on it. Well, the job lot obviously does owe me. It doesn't owe me anything now. It's all paid for. That's what I mean. So this, with its fault, owes me nothing. So I figure a fiver just to get rid of it and get some space is good. And then from nine dog to skirt. A vintage dodgy skirt, which is from dub lot stuff that I had ages ago and was well in profit ages ago as well. So again, this opening method, this went for £8, £9, something like that. And I also need some bubble wrap, which is in that box. So I haven't opened it yet. Okay. So I'm turning you around and you can see me struggling opening this box with this bubble wrap. It is a bit weird that the company that I order bubble wrap from, considering it's not breakable and it's a packaging supply, comes in a box. But that's partially why I buy it, because you get a nice big box for packaging. But it is a bit bizarre. So I'm not going to actually take it out, I only mean like and what else do I need? Also need one of Josh's boxes. So this is a 5x5 five five, I think, which can go as a small parcel. And I'll also need some wrapping paper rubbish as a void fill. That'll do. And then I'll go back inside and I'm going to package this up. So this is what I'm packaging up. So just to be videoing. So this is a little carved stone figure. Zuni. Zuni fetish. Don't know what that means. But that, those are the keywords I use in it. Saber tooth tiger. Yeah. Um, sold for £32. Really? I know. They, I, I even had offers on it. They didn't even like offer an offer. They just paid it. Crazy people. I'd take them like 20 for it. Yeah. Yeah. Shh, don't tell them though. So wrap in bubble wrap. Not a bubble wrap actually. Because you never know. And then a bit of tape. And a bit more tape. And some more tape. Beautiful. And then, so that they think it's Christmas again. Christmas! I'm just going to line the box with some wrapping paper. Because, you know, recycle it. Recycle, reuse. Repurpose, reclaim, fight the system, damn the man. Rejuvenate, reinvent. Um, Reincarnate. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah. Very important. Very important to reincarnate. That's what I intend to do. Always reincarnate, people. I need my big tape. Where's my big tape? Poundland castle tape. And that's it. And then, this is the bag of stuff that I've already done from New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, um, and sold overnight. And then these two, so how I'll package these is, because they're vintage items, they get my vintage cards on, so I'll stick one of them on each, it directs them to my Facebook page, which I don't use, and my Instagram page, which is just me. So, fascinating for them. It is again one of my new things to take advantage and use my Instagram face and my Facebook page for more business things. 
Instagram to sell the retro life and Facebook to sell the actual garms. And pretty soon I'm going to be getting a label printer so I don't have to write out the labels for these. So that's going to be just life changing apparently. Anyways, I need to turn this off so that I can get the addresses off my phone, so bye. In Port Albert a while ago, uh, Banksy did a, um, a mural on the side of a building and I'm presuming that this is actually it. Um, it's not open. Oh, it is. Wow. Oh, you can't bloody see it, but that is the Banksy. That's pretty cool. I've seen a bunch of Banksy's because uh, if you go to Bristol in the university part of the town there's quite a few of them and I saw the Banksy exhibition there a while ago. Pretty cool. Ah, oh. well there you go. That's in Port Albert. There's no... Oh, you can see me. I'm like a Banksy. Castellaneth. No food or drink. This is Port Albert. Charity shops are up that way. There is a very handy weather spoon in case I get hungry and fancy a little bit of lunch. But uh, we're going to go down this series of shops here and we're going to go and check out some charity shops. So, hey. so this is the first one, British Heart Foundation, and then we'll head on off to Oxfam after that. But someone outside is selling these fantastic old Christmas cards and I do love a tacky animal Christmas card. <laughs> Now in the PDSC. Oh, bloody hell. I wrote that. So cute with these bags. It's daytime with me, Jay Curtis. This is more like it. Yay. That's £17 in Oxfam. I'm gonna ignore this place and go into Cancer Research and then Shish Nini, the RSPCA. So Potalba is a place where the charity shops um, kind of turn your expectations upside down. Um, bizarrely, Oxfam and Cancer Research have been the best shops and the ones I've spent the most in. The Cancer Research one is fabulous. Um, and I might just go back in there in a bit once I've done my post because I still haven't done my post yet. I've got to find the post office. I'm thinking it's down there. And then I'm going to pop in Shore Trust. There's another charity shop, but I think it's around that corner. I'm not quite sure. Well, I might be thinking of another town. I might have dreamt it. I don't know. Um, and I think there's some in the Abavan Centre. I'm not sure again. But we'll have an adventure and find out. Wait. Typically, I go to the post office there, and while I'm in there, the short trust shop shuts. <gasps> but there is a Marie Curie over there, so that's where I'm going to go. Come inside the Aberavon, Aber, I can't, I don't know how you say it, Aberavon Shopping Centre. It's all exciting things here. And here is Jazz Hands Baby G. Ooh, looking very happy. It's his birthday. So I've just come out of the um, Amber Avon Centre when there's two charity shops in there. Um, one of which is meant to be like a, 
end of line store, I can't remember which one it is. But anyway, there wasn't anything in there that was particularly end of line or any good for like four quid. That's like normal prices for a top. And then there was um, a Forces shop, which was just a bit more like a jumble sale really. And I bought some Christmas decorations, yay. Now I'm debating whether to, oh look, you can see. Hmm. Um, debating whether to either have a coffee or go to Weatherspoons down there and have some lunch or just to go home, save some money and have some lunch there. We'll see. So there you go, I bought two big bags of stuff and there's some more in my bag. And I am just waiting do, 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 for the train home and I'm going to get some lunch there. because you don't have to pay so much for it when you're at home. Mm, and I'm going to have some food in a bit. While I'm sat down with a cup, I'll show you some of the jewellery bits I bought. My hair is like crazy today, isn't it? It's because I put my head upside down to blow dry it as well last night. So that might have something to do with it. Lipsticks nearly lasted. <laughs> anyway, so my jewellery bits. So... 99p for a pair of hideously amazing clip-on earrings. They're super heavy too. MN Designs, London, New York, Paris. Of course, of course they are. £2.49 for some damascene, a little damascene bracelet. Damascene is in made in Damascus. 99 pence for this 1950s kind of bolo not be on the lookout, it's actually just called a bolo necklace. Bolo is when it's like strands and you can adjust that little thing, like what cowboys would it would wear. You can tell it's like 50s, 60s because it says patent pending on the back. And that's generally a sign of that. This was 99p, this little, it's got quite a unusual hinge. I haven't quite worked out how to open it yet. Oh, there we go. Can't see a brand on it, but it's a nice bit of chain. Nice bit of, you know, gaudy bling that's in at the moment. But it is vintage and it's got its safety chain on it as well. Shame there's no brand name on it and a shame it doesn't just say like 18 carat. Uh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But hey ho, I like that one, 99p. Some floral clip on earrings, 99p. Bit of sparkle. Have they got a brand name on them? No, they're unsigned, but they're cute though. Another 99p clip on earrings. They're not signed either. And another lot. Uh, nope, they're not signed either. That's okay. And then some fabulous sparkles. So three ninety nine for this little bee brooch, isn't that lovely? Little bee, so sparkly, and um, probably can't see on there, but that says Joan Rivers. So Joan Rivers made this from beyond the grave. That's cool. Joan Rivers stuff is uh, kind of collectible. Um, I think it's like a QVC brand. So there's collectors out there. And another QVC brand is Atwood and Sawyer. And I've got two pairs of Atwood and Sawyer earrings for, yeah, 2 99 each. And I would expect between 15 and 20, maybe even more for them, especially those ones, because they're beastly. Should we try them on? You know that they're Atwood and Sawyer because they say A and S. Well, they should do it anyway, or they might even say Atwood and Sawyer. Oh my god. I mean, would you just? Scary, aren't they? Right. So, coffee and a cigarette time now, and then I'm going to make some lunch. I might even show you if you're interested in keto stuff, or I might do that in a separate video. I don't know. We shall see. So, we're going to vlog this, Mum. Say hello to Mummy. Huh? <laughs> so 
Mum's TV just exploded. Yeah, it just went puff. So um, we're going to go down to Tesco's and to Curry's and pick up a new one because that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. You know, when something explodes, just get a new one. Can we smash the other one up? No, no. Boring. Find out where it can be recycled. Yeah. Okay. In other words, get Steve to take you down the trip. Yeah, that would be true. Okay, well, fun, fun, fun. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> New TV boat. I hate smiling for things like that. <laughs>